हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लाइट अप नॉलेज एंड वेलकम टू टूडेज वीडियो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल कवर एपिथेट व्हिच इज अ लिटरेरी टर्म बिफोर मूविंग ऑन फर्दर इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ नेट यू इंग्लिश एग्जाम और गेट एम एंट्रेंस एग्जाम और यू इंग्लिश लिटरेचर ऑप्शनल एग्जाम सो विल बी लर्निंग दिस टॉपिक very thoroughly from its meaning associated glossaries as well as the examples drawn from the most celebrated authors of english literature so it is a request to my students to watch this video completely as a part miss can cause an incomplete understanding which i am sure no one wants and you can um, check the playlist in the description box related to literary terms without any further ado let's get started let us talk about epithet so basically epithet in english literature specially used in criticism a part of criticism that it denotes an adjective an epithet denotes an adjective or adjectival phrase so let us understand what is an adjective an adjective is a word which describe about a noun or a pronoun for example beautiful girl the adjective is beautiful that's the epithet or an adjectival phrase means a group of words which function as a adjective in a, in a phrase and uh, it describes a different uh, a distinctive quality of a person or thing so usually a uh, an adjective or a phrase which express some quality or attribute uh, which is the characteristics of a characteristic of a person or a thing if you see this example silver snarling tomfit so the tomfit is described as silver snarling okay so this is an adjectival phrase and the, uh, and um, this example is from the eve of saint agnes uh, written by john keats similarly we have other examples as well like long john which uh, is an epithet here long dusty miller what is the example of epithet here dusty chalky white so chalky hair is an epithet nobi clark so clark is a noun and nobi is an epithet used here lion uh, sorry richard the lion heart so richard is described as the lion heart so the um, epithet is put after the noun instead of before so that was about epithet the next point is the term is also applied to an identifying phrase that stands in the place of noun so normally you know students the words which are used grammatically in the place of nouns are known as pronoun for example for uh, a word like uh, charles i will use a pronoun he or his right but here you use uh, in the literary language we can say you 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 know you replace a noun with an identifying phrase with which it is uh, very closely associated with so therefore it is used as an adjective or adjectival phrase and it is also used um, uh, in place of noun we use an identifying place in the place of noun so epithet does these tasks so if you see this example in the glittering forfex uh, in the rape of the log by alexander pope so this is alexander pope's the glittering forfex is ironically uh, an inflated epithet for the scissors which uh, you know the baron performs uh, the, his heinous act uh, in uh, the rape of the log so the glittering forfex is um, is replacing the noun scissor so yes guys that was all for today's video and i hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful if you did please like share and subscribe to it, to my channel and all the important playlist uh, will be linked down there in the description box for you to check until then we meet next time keep learning and keep growing